Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot your shot, dickhead. Episode four. You already know the vibe. Yeah, boy. We, you know, we, yeah, we just keep them coming, bro. That's Sa- what it is. You know, basic shit. cable, basic Real cable. Rap, you know what I mean? Major, you know what I mean? Ain't shit changed. Yeah, but the bottle. Ooh, Ooh. what you get us today? The Ciroc, yeah, I mean, the we got Peachy the Ciroc. 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 That's douche. Yeah, sir. The the orange it look good. Look high class. You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? I always good with a dot on the on the front yeah man oh, right. what, what's just... Khaled call that shit <laughs> I forget the vibes the vibes <laughs> <laughs> and yeah man this episode right here is brought to you and sponsored by Hoover Delivery Service man shout out Hoover Delivery Service shout out Hoover Delivery Service you know what I'm saying they the best moving company in Philly you know what I'm saying they do everything from small pickups to move your crib to Move your office, anything you need, man. So shout out Hoover Delivery Service. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Hit them up and tell them we sent you. Absolutely. And they're going to do the job for you, man. You know what I mean? You need your couch moved or whatever. And you might get a discount. Right. Yeah, you man. might. You especially say our name. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Hit up Hoover, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll put the information up for y'all. I absolutely put the information right up. You know what I mean? For sure, man. We're Shout get out. rock and roll. Shout out to them, man. They were the first ones to get at us with the sponsor and say they need to be on here. You feel me? So, And, and rappers, I don't know what y'all waiting for. But. Y'all waiting for. We, we trying to play that, John, in the beginning. Absolutely. You want your shit at the beginning? Hit us up. Yeah, man. It up, man. But yeah, shout out Hoover Delivery Service, man. Absolutely. Real rap. You mean... That oh, is oh, what it is. Them. But I'm we, pouring we right it up. We're it. shooting a shot from the gun bus. Yeah, shoot you know your man? shot. You got to shoot your shot from the gun bus around here. Straight up. You know what I mean? I don't know. We've been killing whole bottles. So I got, real quick, what you rate that do sizzle? The do say? I'm going to give that, <clears throat> what we give the Henny at? Eight? That was the eight, the Henny was like an eight four, if I'm not mistaken. Eight four, something wrong. I'm going to have to give the do say a eight six then. Okay. Do say I I probably give it an eight. I probably also, it depends. So I'm gonna give it an eight three because do say is way more expensive. But I got drunker off the henny, so yeah. anything goes. <laughs> yeah, man. And now I, I give a shout out to Jay though. You know what I mean? But yeah. I gotta get I gotta get a like do say eight three. You like the henny better? I like the vibe of the do say better. But I like the Henny to get me there. Right. Well, yeah, man. Now, now we got the clear for the first time. Yeah, I mean, so. this is the first clear. Yeah, yeah I mean. Man. So we got to... Um, clear get you there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see what how it's coming. All right. Well, so you without, already you know, without, without further, further ado, ado. Shoot your shot, episode four. Hey. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, <laughs> man. And I just realized we got custom shot glasses oh, now. Oh yeah! Oh, that's right. We were, oh, you know what I mean, oh, it's a little. You know what I mean? It's it's some semi custom. It's a little vibe. It's All a right. vibe. They got the studio name on them. You, you feel me? If you this? can't see it, we upgrading every episode. Every John. time, you know, we always gotta elevate. Elevate. You know what yeah, I mean? mean. So first things first. Um, before we get into a few things we wanted to talk about, I think my man Jump got something he want to tell yeah. all you um, so, rappers. Yo, we appreciate y'all so much for doing the last contest and participating Absolutely. that we're going to hit y'all with something else this time. So, another one. Another one. <laughs> and we're going to do something a little bit different this time. Absolutely. Um, so I want to make it so everybody could just do this real quick and... You know what I'm saying? Throw it up and we're going to judge it and, you know, pick pick one. And I think, again, I'm going to do another two hours here, man. You know what I'm saying? I want, I'm want i going to add something more next time, but the winner will get two hours here. Absolutely. And um, basically, it's it's simple, man. It's, it's a little challenge. So I got this beat. Actually, I, you know what? We can add something more. I got a bean for whoever win. All right. There you go. I got go. a bean for So Checkmate win. got a bean for whoever win, and I got a bean worth of studio time. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So that's $200 worth of, you know what I'm saying? So basically what 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 the contest is, is I is I made this beat. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And and we'll play a little bit of it uh, after I talk about the all the specifics. hard, too. They're doing fire. Yeah, hey, I appreciate that. I, had to, I, I, I sent him one. He was like, uh, I like it. Give me another one. Uh, another one. <laughs> another one so I made an, you know what I'm saying I'm over here working man so I made I made another one 
And um, he was like, that's the one. So that's the one. basically what it's going to be is um, I'll have the link for you guys to download the beat um, on, on the YouTube. And um, I'm going to send out another email as well for, for those of you whose emails I got. And um, basically, it's a challenge. Shoot your shot challenge. So you're going to film yourself. You know what I'm saying? Throw it up on the, on the gram. All right, look, look. So this this the whole thing right here. <clears throat> so shoot your shot challenge. You go download the beat. The, right. Whoever got the best bar is going to win. Let's get Facts. right to the basic cable of this right, thing. We need them because bars. I, don't, I mean, I'm a bars guy. I'm a, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight to the fish. We, I'm, I, th- I'm, I feel like we picked the vibe on the song last time. So now you know I mean? give us them fucking bars. Yeah, you, you know, last time, you know, we went with the vibe. You know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. This time, I'm going with the bars. You know what right. I'm saying? That's why it was hard to pick. Spit your you hottest know, verse, every, man. I mean, 60, you got 60 seconds on the gram. Give us everything. You 60 I mean? seconds, you know what I mean? And, and, and Give the, us them and, bars. And the rules are you got to tag us. We'll put this on the screen as well. Absolutely. You got to tag me, Jumbo Sounds. You got to uh, tag... Checkmate TV. Checkmate TV. And you got to tag... Uh, shoot, at, your shoot Your Shot Podcast. Po- yeah, at Shoot Your Shot Podcast. And... Hashtag shoot your shot podcast and hashtag shoot your shot challenge. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Shoot your shot. So podcast, what's going to happen is challenge. the only way I'm looking at the 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 uh, contestants is when I click on the shoot your shot hashtag, Boom. the shoot your shot podcast, or the shoot your shot hashtag. Or I the, need to or see or both the shoot folks. your shot challenge because we, we're gonna click only on the hashtag. Only on the hashtag. And if all if you ain't if you don't show up, you don't show up. You're then, not. You're not. You mean you're not invited to this party? You right. Mean? So you got five things. To make sure they all in there, and make sure you come with the bars, baby. At jumbo, right. at check, at shoot your shot podcast. The the Instagram page hashtag. Shoot your shot podcast and the hashtag shoot your shot challenge. Boom. That's it. That's it. You know I mean it's that you, simple? Basic cable, five things. Put it in your disc. You know your ca- yeah, put you it mean? in the caption. Caption and you write rock and roll. Yeah, bring man, that I got fire. a bean for you. You mean and I and I want to meet you. If you got them bars, oh, you know right. mean yeah. I want to give it to you personally. Yeah, you know I mean up. that's how I'm carrying it. You know what I mean and if you win. You might even get on the next show because I'm going to give it to you hand in hand. Hey, man, I go. might want to give it to you in person. So not only will you get the studio time, you might slide up here. Yeah, man. Hey. I'm just going to keep it all the way to the fish grease with you because, you know what I mean? I want to meet you if, you know, if you got them bars. You know what I mean? So that's how we carried it. Shoot your shot challenge. Shoot your shot challenge. The first. The and first of many. We've been it a lot. So you know what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to double back. Boom. And... and- it's, We're going double it's back to the It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. A yeah, lot of a lot of times when I when I um when I drink vodka, it gives me that like that you know rubbing alcohol taste. This doesn't have it that bad. Well, you know this that Diddy water. Exactly. Yeah, you know I mean this should go down like yeah, man. This should go down how it's supposed to go down. Right. This ain't no Pause. Amsterdam. Yeah. This ain't the Amsterdam. Dizzy. <laughs> yeah, man. Although I could, I could fuck some answer damn up. Yeah, we might have to go. We might, yeah, man. If answer damn, y'all want to sponsor us? Don't get it twisted. We, yeah, man. I, I, I fuck with the Amsterdam too. Plenty no, late right. nights off the damn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick and easy. Yeah, man. Plenty late nights off the damn. We not even go act Hollywood with it. You dig? Straight so, uh, up. so yeah, this one we gonna dedicate this one to the. To the shoot your shot challenge. Shoot your shot challenge, man. Get to it. You know what I'm saying? Shoot your shot. Hashtag shoot your shot podcast. And hashtag shoot your shot challenge. Right. And make sure, because that's what, where we looking to that's see. That's where it. we looking. You know what I'm saying? Man. So, yes. Holla at your guala. Holla. Let's get it. Shoot your shot challenge. Woo! Oh, we got that out the way. We got our first sponsor out the way. Hoover Delivery Service. Shout out to you, bro. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Thank you for being the first sponsor, first Absolutely. of many. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you know I mean, so yeah, man. what you want to get into, Chet? Um, let's let's see. First things first. Um, I'm just gonna get right into my vibes. You know, my will tell me everything I want to get into. So this will be mm. my whole thing right here. So what I'm banging in the will right now is that future life is good remix. Mm. Oh, let me talk about this room. We were just listening to that, John. Ooh. Damn, we ain't, we ain't playing the beat to the uh, for the challenge, but it's cool. Y'all, y'all gonna hear it. You know what I mean? All right. You, know what I mean? you sure? No, nah, we ain't gonna play it. You wanna play it? Should I play it? Play it. I'll play it. We're gonna come right back to that. Yeah, we'll come back to that. But I want y'all to hear this, John. I, I, put, I put some time into this. Uh, play that, John. Suffering soul, whatever you got, I can hear it even 
some vocals on this joint. Get creative, yeah, man. That's the jaw right there. That's so. the jaw right there. So that's the Shoot Your Shot Challenge beat. Make sure you do so it So make justice. sure you download it in the link in the description. Right. Um. And uh, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Mm. Oh, all right. I'll do it. So go Ooh, ahead. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So what we were talking about before we- But anyway, yeah, yeah. you mean, like I said, you know, we, we keep this all the way, you mean, all the way to the oils, no cuss, no, you mean, no bullshit, yeah, no you mean, cuts, straight man. to the fish grease. But anyway- Play as fuck up too. You mean, that's it. Um, But yeah, back to this Life is Good remix. Oh, shout out to Future. My guy over, Hendrix over is Florida, back. Man. That's all right. My man Hendrix is back, man. Yo, I'm telling y'all this now. I, you know, I gotta. I, I like to put this in the air when it's early. Future got that tone back. Mm. Drop the flex bomb on these dudes. <laughs> he got the tone back. So, this, what, so what future tone are you talking about? Like what? I'm what? talking about that dirty sprite oh, wow. tone. Right. I'm talking about that 21 nights tone. Mm. I'm talking about no, that 50, 56 mo- nights However many <laughs> nights <laughs> I'm talking about that monster tone right. You know what I mean? That's that tone, <laughs> man Dirty soda in a that- sky phone Ooh. Spend a day to get my mind blown Yo, what he said This dude said She called me daddy Cause like my money long like Stevie I said, okay, we ready He back mm. That's all I needed to hear Sam. Yo. Yeah, that's deep. Damn, we halfway through this shit already? What the fuck? Yeah, that's basic, kid. We're going we're gonna to drink Man, this Ciroc like water. But, yo, Future's back. He's in that zone. Don't I wouldn't be surprised the early projects surprisingly dropping early, late spring. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised. And if, you know, once he once he catch a little traction, he'll probably drop back to back. You know, I wouldn't be. Of course, we're, we're looking for one with him and Drake. Um, but uh, also... Lil Baby fucked that joint up too. That life is yeah, good. I, I like that he got both of them on there. That's dope. The baby did what the baby do. You right. mean I love the baby. Good. Sure. You know, he did what he 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 did what he do. But Lil Baby, he said, 750 one day. I bought two Lamborghinis. Once again, I was done. Yeah, you know I man. He said, I hop out that joint like Houdini. 750 one day. I bought two Lamborghinis. Oh, I was like, oh. This dude is talking that shit. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. And another thing that's interesting, um, it's it's funny because there's like a Drake stigma in, in, in rap. So what happens is you can never outdo a Drake verse. It's very, very, very rare. Did they and, take him off of there? And for future, and 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 there's a deep dive to be had with that. But um, for Future to take Drake's main verse off, just to use his hook, right. and and the song still be fire. <clears throat> Future, like like just just imagine any Drake verse, right? You take Drake verse, take it out, and put someone else there. It's never the same. You know what I'm saying? You still want to talk about whatever Drake was talking about, and um, yeah. Future directed the whole narrative. I honestly rather listen to the remix than the original. And um, Drake did his thing with the taxes and all that. I was, I was, I was all with yeah, it. Yeah, Future, was, Future uh, piggybacked on that too. Yeah, he, he piggybacked on it. But she said she went. I took her enough to go shopping. Oh, I'm right there now. Future, <laughs> no, Future did his thing on that, that, that joint. I'm like, shit right now? bro, that's my shit right now. Every time I'm telling y'all, double call this the car talk. You know what I mean? Right. Every Time, you know me. I, I hear something new in the car. I gotta get it to y'all, man. Life is good. Remix is what I'm riding around to right now. And once again, like I said, I don't, for future to be able to take Drake's verse off and make another verse that's comparable, and I don't even care about the Drake verse anymore. That's right. crazy. Shout out to him and Lori Harvey too. Uh, some interesting there. Um. He seems to be really in love. I don't know. Um, anybody <laughs> that uh, really broke down the lyrics of that? Because I really kind of broke down the lyrics of that. Um, 
he seems to be really in love. And um, shout out to him and Lori. You know what I mean, the actually the funny part is the first time I heard the preview for the Life Is Good remix was on Lori Harvey's Instagram. She did an Instagram story to the song about the Stevie line. Um, she was like getting dressed in the mirror. I was like, oh my god, this girl's crazy. And what song is that? <laughs> That's what I thought. As soon as I heard it, I was like, oh my god, this you is the remix. On. You ain't catch on right away. No. Well, I I knew the beat. And I knew right. it was lyrics, future. I was like, hold up. I, I, when I first heard it, I was like, it was like a snippet. It was 30 seconds. I couldn't, it was too much for my senses. She bad as shit. She getting dressed. And I'm hearing some kill that I thought I missed on the original version. I was like, damn, what part of the song is that? I was thinking, I was thinking that. Then a couple hours later, the actual song dropped. I was like, oh, okay. That's how he carrying it. All right. Mm-hmm. I see how he carrying it now. And future did his thing. That was crazy. Amazing. Life is good. And little baby did his thing. One other thing I want to say real quick. I'm going to ask you this, Jum. What's up? Off the top of your head, who's better to you? Little baby or the baby? All right, this, this is a question I'm having with myself lately. I'm going to have to go with... The, ah, damn. I don't want to like discredit nobody, but personally, me, I like the baby... I listen to to the the baby more than little baby. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Just because he gives me more of what I want to hear. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But different strokes for different folks. You feel me? Like, Absolutely. Yeah, Shout out to the baby, and I love the baby also. Right. But, but I fuck with little man. Baby. I got to say, shout out to Little Baby. And by the time this come out, his album will have dropped. We're about to talk about that in a second. But um, so this is the thing. First of all, let me just say this. I love Lil Baby way better than I like Da Baby. But that's neither here nor there. Um, da Baby's still great. I bought one of them. I think Da Baby is like just a modern day chick record guy. If that makes any sense. Or I want to hear him. Club record. Club record like guy. Little Baby, give me that hood shit that I just touch my soul every time. When that's something. Yo, another car talk number two. Something to prove, bro, by Lil Baby. Yeah, that if y'all a bomb. ain't that is listen a bomb. To that. I ain't gonna lie. I like Lil Baby a lot more after hearing that, John. I can't hold you. But you probably ain't go back to Lil Baby freestyle. Yeah, I mean, I heard his first album. And, but, uh, and a couple other jewels that he got that's in that same pocket. But you gotta be like, see, that's the thing. Lil Baby ain't really had, wait, no, 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 let me get it fucked up. Lil Baby had hits. He got hits on top of hits. Yeah, yeah. But, um, definitely. Lil Baby just talked that straight shit that just touches my soul, bro. Oh, my God. Lil Baby is... But, yeah, yeah that's something that's to something prove to record. Prove hard, though. That's something to prove Definitely record. Definitely hard. That's right. So, if I had a Spotify playlist, I might as well make one, you know what I mean? At this point. Yeah, you I, mean, think, I think we call, might need a shoot your shot. We might need a shoot your shot that playlist way. so yeah, everybody man. can subscribe, you know what I mean? And the podcast will probably be on that joint, you know what I mean? All the yeah. way around the board. So, um, but yeah, so uh, Lil Baby. So what else is in your whip right now then? So hold on. Lil Baby album drop on Friday. So when this come out, it'll probably be probably like, a weekend. Yeah, so day with, before, day after, two days after. Probably. So 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 with that being said, how much do you think he'll sell? Over 100 or under 100? He probably going to be right there. At a hundred, like right there, right there at a hundred. I think. Yeah, cause I'm not. If I'm not mistaken, you can look this up for me. Um, you got a computer next to me. Um, not to make any comparisons, but I want to say the the baby dropped two albums last year, and I'm gonna say they're both around eighty k. Yeah, I don't. Is it is that shit even out there? Um, yeah, just the baby first week sales. Um, both around eighty k. Um, of course the Well then I the, don't uh, know He might do less then I ain't gonna hold you then Like Oh no nah. Kirk Kirk did um, 145 145 Okay So yeah I'm, I'm not too familiar With this stuff But Nowadays Cause it all changed with uh, streaming, what, what, so, what was the second one? Oh, the, Kirk was the Kirk, second one Kirk was 145 I don't know what the first one did Okay so uh, he, he dropped two albums last year Kirk was the one The, the second one I don't know what the first one was. But that's okay. One, yeah. We'll go off the 145 number. Yeah, that's it. So I mean, that's over or under yeah, 145? I think, I think he's going to be right under that. 
personally, well, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I, I he'll really, probably be right out of that. I think yeah. the baby's a bigger girl. Yeah, he's more. Yeah, he's more. Pop, pop and, and when he dropped that album, he, the baby was everywhere. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I don't know if little Baby... No, nah, he, he, he's that more of gonna, Yeah, that's something to prove is going to help him a lot, though. No, nah, it's not, though, because nobody ain't listened to it, I feel like. Oh, I did. And somebody no, did I'm the talking, about, I'm talking about, like, the girls and, like, right. I, you know, you got to figure yeah, it's not the a baby, It's not a bop. The baby said, oh, I need some shit with some bop in it. And he right. had Megan Thee Stallion yeah. and all these other girls. And he was doing a dance video every uh, week. Every other week, you know what I'm saying? So he's more, like, popish to me. Right. Um, so but, what, what else you got in the whip right now what we could tell him, you know what I mean? Um, like so, me, I got some Tory in there. Tory, sure. Tory, Fabio, Foreign, K L O K. Right, that's my that's, that's even the chicks tape too is still it's still. That's my me. third my third record in the whip is Tory, Favi. I'm still on my Favi shit, and I just heard he got signed to Mace. That's crazy, mm. and I heard he got signed to Mace for real low too for like twenty grand or something like that. That's crazy. Damn. He's popping though. He's popping. He's popping. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I like once again, this was all speculation. I'm not 100 percent sure. Even though that's my guy, and next time I run into him, which will probably be March 18th. Shout out to March 18th. You gonna ask him? <laughs> I am gonna ask him. Straight right. up and down. What's up? Well, you with Mason him? That's exactly how I'm carrying it. Yo, what's up? You with Mason him? Oh, all right, you mean? So now if I know if I hear that, then I know what you mean. I know how he carrying it. You did, know you hear, how... did you hear the little baby in Future John that just dropped? What's John? It's called uh Oh, I think his album dropped today. Li- live off my closet. Nah. Live off my live off my closet. I think his album dropped today. Where? Little baby I'm album dropped to today. Listen to that one too. The twenty eighth. What's the date? Today today is the uh it's twenty ninth. Yeah, yeah it's the 28th, yeah. Yeah, it dropped today. It's Friday, Friday night. So, Lil Baby album dropped today. Um, so, by the time you get to this, it'll be a weekend. So, we'll right. check the numbers next time we get back to this. Uh, Straight up. And we, um, I think we got to shoot but, a but, shot. But, but, but it ain't yeah, even about the numbers, though. It's about the vibe around here. Don't get that fucked up. We're all about the vibe and the bars. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, but, at sure. the end of the day, you know, numbers is something that we'd like to go off of from time to time. So, that's that. So, yeah, shoot your oh, shot. Oh, you know who else came out today? Jada Kiss. I'm gonna get to that in a second. And Herbo, too. <sighs> yeah. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, dickhead. It's not that bad, actually. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, Ooh. it's not that bad. The, 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 the yak is a little more. Hit your chest. Yeah, so, uh, Jada Kiss came out today. I didn't even know that. Lil Baby came out today. And who you say? Who was the other person? G Herbo? Yeah, G Shout Herbo. out to Swervo. Yeah. I love Swervo. Yeah, I, we got to marinate on them before we a, talk about a, shit. Yo, know, I'll never forget that G <laughs> Herbo freestyle, man. That's my, that's that's top, man. That's uh, top of the top for the song. What called? The, uh... He said... He said Two twins like to marry the song. I'm 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 marrying the song. I'm 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 marrying the song. <laughs> yo, yo, there's always like like one industry beat that like a bunch of artists come up here and do. That was one of them for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. It and was, G Herbo probably had another I think I forget what the other record he had. Forget, what is that co- what is the Herbo John called? I can't think. Don't even get me in line. It, it was a uh three six mafia beat. Yeah, it right? was a three six mafia beat. Yo, yeah, there was like 12 people that came up here and did that. Yeah, I believe it. And, and the big... And they probably always like, I was talking like TNN to Marin or something. <laughs> right. I've been I'm like Marin or something. I don't know. Another big one at, for the time was Panda. Oh, my God. Panda was done probably the most ever. At, from, from, like, if you did the Panda record, I'm up out of here. <laughs> but that shit was lit when it came out. You know I, mean? I was off that. Yeah, you know. You know what I mean? what it is. But um, you, I know you... Uh, so, shout out to Lil Baby. Shout out to Jadakiss. Shout out to Swervo. Right. Um, I haven't got to your records yet because literally it just came out just now and uh, we're shooting a podcast just now. <laughs> so I can't even give you an opinion. Hey, we'll anything. check them out. I haven't even glanced at it. We'll check them out but and do, I, and do one of guess, our reviews next next time. Now, yeah, don't get it fucked up. Out of the three, Jadakiss is my favorite rapper out of the three. I mean, that tells you guys I'm a bars guy. Now, Lil Baby is my favorite out of, the, like, the if we're talking newer vibes. But Jadakus, 
No Shit. matter where you go, I'm going to spot you. No matter how many people put me in front of, I'm going to rock you. And if you try to play the hard top, I'm going to drop you. I got to treat you like the clutch and pop you. <laughs> Just classic Jadakiss, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Shout out to Jadakiss. Just classic man. Jada, man. Shout That's, out to Jada. Jada's just molded my whole life. Like, you know what I mean? Shout out to The Lock. Shout out to Jada. You know what I mean? He had a great interview and a uh, great appearance on... Um, on a State of the Culture, shout out to Joe Buttons and all of them. That was a great ass interview too. I was just watching that. He was talking about this album. Apparently, this album was based upon um, um, one of his friends that just passed away. So he he went real soulful on this one. I ain't hear it, but that's what he was saying. And um, yeah. So go check out Jadakiss. Go check out Little Baby. Go check out Swervo. Now Straight you got up. you got a, you got a question for me. What's going on? Yeah, I got a question for you. So um. <clears throat> Is Chick Fil A sauce honey mustard? Woo! <laughs> Caught me off guard with that one. I feel like hell Chick- no, it ain't. Come on, it's not. It's not honey mustard. Chick Fil A sauce is not honey mustard, but it's bad. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's a mystery. Well, you know, I'm a pe- uh, you know, you know what I mean, if pe- people that don't know, I'm a I'm heavy in the pizza shop world. So you don't eat Chick Fil A? No, hold on. Oh, I'm why? just saying, I know how the pizza shops. Mix their sauces together oh, and say, I got the special <laughs> hot sauce. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I wouldn't doubt if Chick-fil-A took a little formula from that and said, yo, I'm going to mix some honey mustard and some turtle sauce and put it together. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, and, 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 and they came up with a formula that's banging. It's as simple good. as that. It's you know definitely mean? good. Shout out to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah, I just had to throw that in there because that's an argument somebody was talking about the other day and I was just like, it's not honey mustard. Mm. It's not. It's a little different, it's but different. It's, it's close. It's good. So if you go to Chick Fil A and say I want honey mustard and I want Chick Fil A sauce, it's definitely a little different. Oh yeah, they give you. They'll give no, you honey part, mustard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You know, that was just something I'm gonna throw in there. All right. I mean, I think we need a shot now. Shoot a shot. Shoot your shot. But yeah, while we doing this, uh, it's a question earlier that I got on the. Um, I, you know, I always ask you guys what you guys want us to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, the question is, is the stigma of age changing in music culture? Will we see new artists emerge in their 30s? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. I agree. So, I agree. But I also think it's easier for a younger person to do it. And I'll tell you why. Because I feel like somebody in their 30s, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody in their th- Damn, we about to run through this bottle. Shit. I feel like somebody in their 30s got to... It takes a lot to make it in this game. You feel me? A lot of hard work. You know what I mean? And somebody in their 30s might not be built for that no more. Like, they might have to go work and... You know what I'm saying? But it's not not to say it's not possible. You know what I'm saying? But the younger kids can can dedicate all their time to it. All right, so I'm the the exact opposite. So this is how I feel. Um, So what I feel is um, now you could be 50 and make it. um, Because you... Because the audience, it's now changed. Uh, the labels ain't the gatekeepers no more. So the labels right. were only picking young people so they can monetize and make a lot of money over a lot of period of time. Um, so they were trying to find the talent and you a lot younger. But now it's, it's so direct to consumer. And it depends on what you mean by make it. Um, right, like, right. like also, like, for example, I could be 50 years old and put out a hit single. You know I mean? Um, matter of fact, I actually know a lady named Dolly on Broadway. Shout out to Dolly on Broadway. And shout out to her... her uh, granddaughter Talia um they uh put out their little songs on TikTok and their little stuff on TikTok right, and you could blow up I, overnight I, I, at the end of the day I I wouldn't mind, I, I I wouldn't doubt if she did a fucking concert or a meet and greet at some point in time you know what I'm saying so it all depends on what you mean by make it so you know right. I, like like an artist that's 50 years old put out a song and you know it's direct to consumer now so you don't need yeah. a label to fucking put you out so you can just put your stuff on social media or the, these uh, streaming platforms Mm-hmm. And you can make a little twenty thousand on the meet and greet four times a week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's moni- making monetize YouTube and yeah, YouTube and like for example, I was shit. just um, watching this guy um, um, David. Oh man, I'm gonna butcher his name, but um, he's another YouTube guy, and I uh, I think he might be early thirties, but uh, or maybe late twenties, early thirties, but um, 
just he was just explaining like it's all direct to consumer now, and um, yeah. he's like the number one YouTuber on YouTube, and he's getting like seventy million views of a, a video, and his vlogs are like him with turtles doing turtle shit. But um, <laughs> <laughs> that shit gets me every time. Yeah, bro. but it, <laughs> shout out to David. I love your videos. Though. I'm subscribed and everything, yeah, that's bro. The thing that out the gates are open, like you said. The gates like, are open. It's direct to anybody, consumer now. Anybody, as long as you. So Getting so making it so like making it is real relative, but like at the end of the day, like uh I feel like if you could make over three, four hundred thousand off of your creative craft, you made it because you're making more than the yeah, average Joe absolutely. that's around you. You making that, um, you're doing the right shit. Right, you're doing the right Straight thing. Up. So um And I feel like as far as rap goes, like like it, it could have like the third anybody could do it. It's it takes hard work. And it, and then you could blow up overnight doing something. You know what right. I'm saying? Or, or you know, you could be a producer and send a beat to so-and-so and they use it and it goes number one. You could right. be, you know what I'm saying? So, But but as far as the artists in their 30s, absolutely. I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you got to figure, G, like, Jay did it at 27 when artists, I mean, when labels were fucking only taking people like Lil Bow Wow. You know what I mean? He yeah. did it he did it at 27. I mean, he already went against the grain well, I think early in the game. Well, before Bow Wow, though, right? Way before, but yeah. that's not the issue. Right. But what I'm trying to say is, well, artists was taking crisscross, let's just right, use yeah, them, yeah, gonna, yeah, and fucking yeah. the brat, and fucking right. people that were like 19, 20. It's all about catching that wave and, at the um, end of the day. You gotta catch, like, 2 Chains did it late, and he caught that wave. When 2 Chains, when 2 Chains really was on, like, emerged, Bro. he, um, he was hot, bro. When you heard that, what was that? What was his first song? Duffel Bag Boy was his first first song. No, no, I'm talking about his one when he came back. Um, I don't know what his first single was, was but uh, but the Two Chains the Two Chains album or Boats, I think it was amazing, amazing. Yeah. I'm smoking on that gas. Life should be on Similac. Right. Movie. <laughs> For my bitch, a bigger tits and some bigger right. ass. Who he? Nah, I smoke a green. That's pop pie. Yo, when he came out with that, I was like, oh, right. oh, his first song was Riding Around, I'm Getting It. Yeah, Riding, Riding around, around, I'm Getting Yo, when he came out with that, Money, I spent it. Right. And that was, I didn't even know that two chains was the bull on the Lil Wayne John. I'm Duffle sweating Duffle. like a biscuit neck again. You know when I get the hoodie on, <laughs> I start to sweat. This damn vodka. You mean biscuit neck? I think work. it's time to shoot a shot because. Right, oh, we got one filled yeah, already. Yeah, ready, damn. Right, man. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Before we do that, man. But you got to reach in the bag of tricks. T- tidy up a little bit. Yeah, oh, man. Right, you I must... seen that shit was bothering me. OCD mm. shit, you feel me? I ain't matching. Producer, you got me? Uh, yeah, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, ready? Shoot your shot. We got to get hyped, dog. Shoot your shoot shot, your shot. Again. Hey, bruh. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You got another question for me? Um. Yeah, I do. And it's not even a question. It's a matter of opinion. Opinion. Opinions. You know what I'm saying? I'm I don't great. Want... Voice of the unpopular opinion, by the way. Checkmate TV. Right. I don't want to offend nobody, but this was a question that, that somebody, or a topic that somebody brought up to us. Don't feel offended because I'm keeping it all the way to the grease of my opinion. <laughs> so, yeah, we, you know, we, we in the Philly area, so it's only right. Um, we give our opinions on the top Philly rappers right, right now. Right. The top Philly rappers right now. You know what I'm saying? Not from back to in early 2000s, not from the 90s. We talking about 2020. Top you know Philly rappers right now. You want me to go first? It's up to you. I, you I, go first. You, you want you, me? You, yeah, you you do with all these rappers. All right, well, look. I'm going to just say what I feel. I, this is not discrediting none of y'all. Um, number one for me is Meek Mill, hands down. Oh, uh, we can't count Meek Mill. We got to get nah, Meek Mill all day. No, bro. We talking about Philly. You feel me? So All meet, right. It's me. All right. So then you want to do P&B what you wanna do? Uzi? What you want to do? Uh, you want to do the, like a under... Yeah. Absolutely. I'm doing... Uzi. I'm not going to do Meek P&B Because I'm doing Rock Meek Uzi. P&B Uzi is, is my... That's, that we can't give them that. We All can't right. give them that. I got to give them something different. I started off. Go ahead. Listen, I'll listen to... I had, we had to say them, though, because... Shout out to Meek. Yeah, me. Love Meek. Shout out to P&B. Family. Shout out to the Tatiles. We mob tied together. And shout out to Uzi, Fern Rock, all that. 
Yeah, Mark shout Cox. out to Uzi. Uzi do his thing for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to PMB too. I fuck with you heavy. You you all, y'all all he in di- my car all y'all, the time. Y'all y'all on a different bracket. Listen, yeah, I don't wanna right. <laughs> my, this little look that I could give somebody, I don't wanna give it to the people that got the whole world <laughs> well, looking at them. All right, well that, um, that so, took that took three off my list. Damn. All right. Nah, that's cool though. So I started off. All right, go ahead. No particular order. And this is no discredit neither. Like, oh it, no, 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 I ain't discrediting nobody. We fuck but with. no particular order. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with one Drew boy. I like what he does. Mm. One Drew boy, he does this dance thing with him and his man. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Yeah, I know who they are. One they Drew hot. boy, fire. They hot. I just don't know their songs, but I know they. <laughs> I know their impact. You feel me? Fire. Yeah. Fire. One Drew boy. Second, uh. And once again, this is no particular order. This is off the top of my brain. Um, um oh, Sim Santana. Right. Flash it and flex it. Uh, big record. Big record. Big Philly record. Amazing. You got a lot of potential, bro. Please keep doing your thing. Stay out the way, bro. You right on path to go where you need to go. The uh, you know I mean every time I go to the club, all the ladies is twirling and stepping, and I don't even get to moving that fast. But uh, <laughs> you got them. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, that's a good job. You know what I mean, sure. great job. Um, so what you said uh, too? You said too? Yeah. All right, Drew Boy Sim. Mm-hmm. Drew Boy Sim. All right. Um, let me keep going. Uh. Let me say my two then while you think about your two. Um, um hold, hold, let me keep going. Oh, all right, go ahead, my fault. Um You sound you look like you number you, three yeah. or no once again, no particular order. I gotta give it to my young and bride grader. Um might be a little biased on this. Shout out to Bride Grader. But not biased because he's fire all the way around the all the way around the board. Love his movement. Um, went to his release party, amazing. Went to it with Jumbo. Shout out, you know what I mean? Shout out to Bri, man. Shout out to Bri, shout out to Feast, shout out to, uh, you know what I mean, RP to all his brothers, you know what I mean? I love, you know what I mean? Shout out to my man Brand and all them, you know what I mean? My God, shout out to my young and Blair, you know what I mean? All them, you know what I mean? Shout out yeah, to shout all out them. Blair. You know what I mean? My folks, you know what I mean? I was balling with them when we was kids, but Bri, Fire, you know what I mean? He got from that that that. I'm gonna just say from 14 to like 21, Brian Grader got him on lock. You know what I mean? Brian yeah. Grader got him on lock from 14, maybe even 13, 13 to 21. He's like the voice of the kids. What you mean 13? What you mean? I'm talking about that's like his demographic. Oh, okay, bet, bet, yeah. Demographic, yeah. yo, he's like the voice of the young youngins, and um, he's the streets right now. So shout out to Brian Grader. You doing your thing. Keep working, mm-hmm. my guy. Um, you gonna you got big things on your horizon. Um, that's Keep three. Grinding. Straight up. Yeah, that's three. That's three. Okay. Now, I, I gotta go nostalgic. You just have to do it. Number four would definitely be Quilly. Shout out to okay. Quilly. Simple okay. as that. Um, I will say, I'm a guy to give him his props when it's due. The Quilly mixtape drop that's just coming in the wheel immediately. And that's just that. Um, he just raps the way I like old school. I'm a little old school. But by uh, old school, we mean like early 2000s. Early 2000s. That's the Philly Rockefeller. Early 2000s. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I'm I that to you. the core. So at the end of the day. He still gives you that. Uh, he still gives that. me that. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And so that's four. my heart, my heart yearns for that. Right. Um, so that's four. Um, so we got Sim, we got Bri, we got who else? Like Sim, got Quilly, Sim, Bri, Quilly, and uh, one Drew boy, Drew boy, yeah, one Drew boy. Um, and who else do I got in there? 
Um, mind you, this is off the top. This is catching me off. Yeah, yeah, off, yeah that's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, 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 off key. But uh, usually I'll be like Ray Rock and Roll because I'm on all y'all Philly niggas. Don't get it fucked up. I'm watching. Straight I'm up. in the mix. Like, don't get it twisted. And I'm outside. So if you hot, pop up on me and tell me you hot. Like, get me and I'm outside. I mean, I'm in one, two, three, and three, twelve, and uh, all the bars and fucking all the after hours. I entire old girl, I'm outside. So you mean you hot? Pop up on me, tell me you hot. You heard the podcast, you mean? And I'm listening to you, and I'ma shout you out if you fire. Like I'm straight up and down. I'm not academics and these turtles. I'm outside. <laughs> I'm rocking and rolling. Yeah, you know I mean? And I'm yeah, you know I mean? And that's how I'm carrying it. But um. Number got, got number five. Oh, I don't want this to be a cop out, but I gotta give it to him. It has to be core. Okay. Um, I'm cool with that. That's this cool. has to be core. I, I wanted to give him a nostalgic level for some reason. Um, but it is what it is. So I would just give that that, that fifth spot to core. Um, he's fire. Um, and that's self-explanatory. He's fire. Simple as that. I think he's already signed, and I really wanted to give it to somebody that was a little younger. I can't think off the top of my head right now, though. It's bothering me. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that. So that's my five. No particular order. Y'all can vote for the order. I can care less about that. But um, Yeah, let me give you mine now. All you. And yeah, I I ain't got no order neither. I fuck with all y'all. Oh, hold on. Straight I'm up. sorry. I'm lying. X core out the mix. No <laughs> offense. <laughs> OT the real. Damn, yeah, that was on my OT list. the real. I'm tripping. Nah, that's cool. That's I'm a good job. I'm tripping. Nah, you OT the real is on that fucking list. Cause I'm fucking <laughs> with OT. I I'm fucking with core too. But I'm really listening to OT the real. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, and I'm just I, my brain. Like I say, he caught me off guard with this one. I mean, I'm never usually off guard. Yeah, OT definitely bring that. Well, yo, OT, pain. he can he can take me back to where I'm where where, where, I, where I'm comfortable. I hope I hope OT does the challenge, bro. I oh, he, he gonna does. do the challenge. I hope he does. He gonna do the challenge. Shout out to OT, OT, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely five on that list, bro. And I don't even know why. Like, I, for some reason, I feel like you fuck with my niggas. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know I mean, you, 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 you one of them nostalgic niggas, but I don't, that, that you my guy. Like, yo, I'm fucking with you. You know what I mean? Shout out OT. That's my Shout guy, out too. OT. Bro, like, yeah, for some reason, I just want to put you with, like, the cheap, like, the older echelon. But nah, we're nah, putting you still, right now. He, OT you, bigger than ever, me man. Me bigger Straight than up. ever. I want, you know what I mean? OT keep elevating. Shout bro. out to OT, man. Straight up. So yeah, let me name. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Sim. I'm gonna Sim on my list. No order. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go. My, go with my young guy. My young in uh, run up Rico for sure. That's my guy. Shout out to run up Rico. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm gonna go with Bri. Bri Grader too. That's my young in too. Shout out Bri. Um, I gotta go with my new guy. Too rare. You know what I'm saying? He making moves right now. That's my Ooh, guy, I haven't bro. heard him yet. Too rare, yo. Look out for too rare, bro. He on uh he just dropped his new single, Big Dripper. That John is on like the biggest playlist on Spotify and iTunes, Apple Music, all that, bro. Like he got a good good thing going on. So shout check. out to Rare. I, I heard your name a lot in the yeah, studio. Check shout out, out to Too Rare. Check him out, bro. Shout out to Rare, man. He definitely gonna make this. It's a it's a big record. He he just dropped. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Um, shout out to uh, let's see. Who, uh, who am I forgetting? Um, what was that, three or four? That was three, right? Yeah, I think so. That was three. I said Sim, Bri, Run Up. I said Too Rare, so that's four. Um, And this who popping right now, you know what I'm saying? Shout out OT. He was on my list, too, before you said him. Say it again. We OT. cool there. OT, that's my five. And I, and I, if I could slide drama in there, too. Who drama? Drama to, uh, drama to BR. That's my guy. He's fire. He's lit. Drama. He definitely on that list. Child the draw. And and then, you know, if Leaf Ward would probably be on there too. Who 
who's I don't know who that is yeah, either. You, but shout out to Lee. You gotta get, you gotta get up. Man. Yo, they, I they gotta all get up. popping in the city right now. Y'all know who they are. You know what I mean? So shout, shout out to Leaf. Shout, shout out to drama. drama. Shout out to I ain't gonna lie. Shout, shout out to I'm uh, in the streets though. Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out to OT. Shout, shout out, to out to my Le- guy Leaf Jumbo Ward. for putting me on. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, yo, pop. y'all ever see me? Pop up on me, tell me, yo, I'm Drum, I'm Leaf, I'm fucking Sim, I'm Bra. You know what I mean? Whatever. Pop up on me. Straight up. Now, I already know Bra, and I already met, link, linked up with Sim, but hypothetically, you know, already know what I mean. Yeah, like, just up. pop up Check on me, out. say what's up. You know what I mean? Thanks. Let me know your music, or if I hear it in the streets, I'm gonna vouch for y'all. You and know let what us I'm let us know who your top five is too in the let comments. Let me know y'all top Shoot five it down there. You but know like that, but like I said on the first podcast, I'm a streets type of dude. You know what I mean? So what happens is I get all my information from Empire. You know, I'm in the clubs. I'm in the uh, fifth. Shout out to Fifth of the Bully. You know what I mean? I'm right there. Shout out to Crystals, Fifth of the Bully on the other side. You know what I mean? I leave out of Empire stumbling. You know what I mean? Five racks in my pocket stumbling. Over, over, I'm going right over to Crystals. You know what I mean? Highest shit. Were you in there uh, shooting your shot? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yo, Empire got, Empire probably smaller than this room with the thickest girls in the city. <laughs> no yap on that. Shout out to my man T Wizzle, too. You know what I mean? No yap. It's crazy. We don't even they say probably, play, no they probably played all them dudes in there. We don't so even say probably... cap no more. We say no yap. Yeah, there you go. No yet. Shout out to my man Y. Straight up. So we gonna well, let's shoot our shot, and then. You but no, no, no. Like, but what I was trying to say is, like I said before, I get all my information from like firsthand experiences. You know, um, you know. See, Jumbo's a producer, so he could give it to me from like, yo, bro, I just produced this record. Yo, that shit is fire, bro. I'm telling you, it's the hottest shit in the streets. Yeah. Like, and I won't know. He's ahead of me. And all oh, them dudes, that, all them dudes ain't even. He's ahead of me. Don't even fuck me, come to me all the time. Me, I'm, I'm I'm just like, yo, if I hear it in a club or I hear it on a record or I hear it on Kev or I hear it just in the streets, because the mixtapes is dead now. You know what I mean, I yeah, wish it's I, a lot. I, I it's wish, a lot. Yeah, it's like there's I no wish I had set. we run the streets still. Shout out to Ant. I wish I had uh you know, headshots, you know, murder cappy DVDs. Yeah, yo, I think Philly bro. needs that, yo. I got a camera. I think Philly needs like a, a your own billboard. Or Shoot something. your shot DVD coming soon. Right, or something. I think Philly needs a billboard. Shoot though. your shot DVD coming soon. That'd be hard, yo. <laughs> Absolutely. Get, get some like, like, cause yo, Philly. If you ask me, bro, we got the best artists, bro. Absolutely. Like, like real shit. Like the Philly area, the tri-state. We we got the best artists. But in I the will world, say. Bro. We got to learn how to make a song, fellas. Right. I need songs out of all y'all. Hits. You know, I don't make a song, fellas. That's why I fuck with my guy Too Rare, man. He yeah, came man. through and he made a fucking smash, bro. And that, yo, real rap, he the first one to make on these big-ass playlists that I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's big, bro. That's real big. So I know you heavy playlist, boy. Yo, yeah. And I, I want to see all y'all there. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. You know, Jumbo Damn. take them playlists. You know I mean? Yo, that's where it's at, bro. Hey, he take that over the radio. Because any big artist right now is on them, Jones. You feel me? Any big artist is on them. So, like, whether you be on the radio or whatever. Nah, deeper conversation. Do you feel like you could pay to get on there? I feel like the labels have something to do with it. Is he on the label? I don't know. Okay. Or maybe I do. Nah, I don't know. We'll just keep but, it. Uh, I don't know. But yeah. What's up? Uh, Shoot a shot to that though. Uh, look it up. Look up. Look under the credits. You feel me? <clears throat> Make a long story short, the money will rule the world. <laughs> the what? The money will rule the world. Facts. And you got to be hot to be on them, Johns, in front of Rip, from the gun bus. You shouldn't even talk about them. But Johns I need, I need hot. Sim on them, Johns. I need drama on them, Johns. I need. OT on them see, Johns. See, but these but these dudes is but I need PMB on, on all them Johns still. These dudes PMB is on a whole different He's on, show. he is though. He that is. motherfucker just sold out the the Met and I ain't even never even been to the Met. I didn't even know the Met was a spot. It's the news John. Until yeah. fucking like a, PNB got there and that fucking joint was sold out see, to the Mills. That's the thing. The TLA is like a thousand. The Fillmore is like two, twenty five hundred. 
And now the Mets, like, I think three to four. So that's the, you know what I mean? Shout out to the Mets. Yeah, they had that. Uh, we, we getting, we growing. We getting bigger. Yo, I you know swear I mean? to God, listen to this, right? If we get big enough where I could bring all these artists on and fill out the Met. I'm bringing all y'all artists on. I'm going to say, yo, we're going yeah. to host it. Me and Jim going to host That'd it. That'd be dope as fuck. And I'm going to bring all the artists on. We're going to sell that joint. I don't even give a fuck. It's the Fillmore. With 2,000 times 30, it's still fucking 60 grand. So, yo, yeah, we want to rock and roll. You know what I mean? We're going to make this shit rock and roll. Yeah, like, I, want, I, don't, I, ain't, I don't even need to be paid. I just want to see that shit work. I just want to um, see it work. I want to give it to the artists. I want y'all to make y'all bag. I want y'all all coming right. around the hood with 50 grand, 10 grand, 5 grand, 7 grand. You know what I mean? That's what I want to break it down. Like, that's how I want to carry it. You know what I mean? I already seen money in my life. I already done what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? I'm over yeah. here working, doing my day at nine, nine to five every day. You know what I mean? Uh, you know I mean, I already know how to carry it. I already get, you know what I mean? But I want to see these artists that's grinding and just doing that. I want to see them have that chicken. You know what I mean? I also want to see them get out the hood, though, because once you get that chicken, the vipers come. And that's when it's on some mm. bullshit, but that's neither here nor there. Um, what, what other? What, I like that you question, got, though. That was a good thing. You got anything or what? Um, I got so, I got a couple questions from the from the um. Let's go fan questions, but, and I'm gonna shoot my shot while we go fan questions. Go some of these, John. Let's see, let's see what we got over here. Yo, and guys, shoot your shot on the fan questions. We're gonna put this up once a week. I'm gonna put it on my gram too. Yeah, we gotta get it more popping because today today I got some, but um. Hold on, All right, I'm gonna read this one. Branding advice for independent artists. Major key. I put major key. <laughs> Branding advice. That is a major key. Because you got to get, brand yourself. I, I like this because I ain't get to give y'all no advice this whole podcast. There you go. Deep dive. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Deep dive. Okay. So first things first. You want to... Every artist wants to have a bigger umbrella. Okay. So, uh... Who can I use... Okay, Drake. Let's use Drake for an example. Biggest artist in the game. Of course, he got all his ducks in line. So you got Drake, the artist, but you got OVO, the clothing. Right. You got OVO, the sneakers. They could easily be called the Drake sneakers to sell out. I promise you. Right. Promise you. So he distanced himself from it. The his. brand October very own. It, it, it he's been it, rapping that from the beginning. It incorporates more people. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? You know, um, I'm check the rapper, but I'm check make TV the brand. You and understand? That, and that same for me. Like when I came into the You're, game, I was Jumbo Beats, right? But then I Jumbo Sound opened the studio. I. I diversify. Record. Yeah, I'm Jumbo Sounds now. I don't just make beats. I don't want to just be known for making beats. Absolutely. It's called the diversification. We could have called this we could have called this Jumbo, Jumbo and Check podcast. Yeah, easily. By it shoots your shot. You feel it me? Shoot your shot. It's you know their what I'm branding. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, so I hope I hope that gave you an outside looking man. in for the uh, you know, hold on. And one and that's thing, my guy too to ask that question. Shout, and one thing I want to say though. Shout wait, out to wait, Shane Z. Shout out to Rap. He but got a new on. song out, Shit Fire. Shane Z. I got to listen Check to it for out. sure. Robot. But um, one thing I want to say is sometimes we go deep dive on things that you guys may already know. But um, our demographic is very wide. Like, uh, you know, we might have a, a 17, 16-year-old kid that comes here. We may have a 25-year-old that comes here that don't know. And we you might have people that don't even rap or sing or anything or just want some advice or certain things or just things. fuck with us cause uh, right or just, you know just I mean? fuck with us in general so at the end of the day I like to give you know just make sure all my I's are, cr are dotted and my T's are crossed because for the simple fact like uh, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about branding right now. This is an area where you know it could help any business and anybody in could do this. You you could be a girl that you know does makeup, makeup lashes, hairs, nails you know what I mean? Yo I ain't up. gonna lie these lash techs are making more than everybody right now. Yeah, and the What's hair, up hair with the, the hair products and all that shit. Like, shout out to the lash techs of the world, girl. Yo, I'm paying attention. Like, I, you know, I deal with so many females that got these lash techs that over fifty thousand followers, and 
Yeah. Making bread off of everybody a, in the yeah, city. I know a few girls that have been up here that run their own shit. And yeah, it's like, these lash techs are lit. making the bag. I don't know if right it's lash techs. I don't know if it's wigs or it's fucking hair hairspray. All the above. But it's something. And they pushing that All shit. All the above. And, and they, they pushing it they and it's popping. going. Yeah. They pushing up. it and it's going. So find something. And it, so I, branding. I, and I, that goes back to us, too. Like, we going to have some shit, too, bro. Yeah, we got the Shoot Your Shot t-shirts. I got one under here. Oh, you, know oh, you rocking it? Oh, shit. I, shoot oh, your I shot. see. Boom. Yeah, man, I'm here. And, and I got that, my own brand. And that's light. Yeah, he do. That was light. Yeah, that's man. light. That's not but even you, what we going to give y'all. We got something bigger than y'all. Me and Chet going to talk after this. But, yo, we got some all right shit. We going to do something. We heavy out here. Right. And and hope y'all fuck with it, too. Absolutely. Like, branding is, is very important. And... We all got to figure out how to how to feed our families at the end of the day. You feel me? And go mm-hmm. home and 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 be good. So, yo, like we Brandon were saying, that's a cute. great point by you though. Like, separate yourself from Absolutely. it, but like, but 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 still put yourself in it. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody know OVO. Is separate straight. yourself from it and you promote it, right? <laughs> and have a that. good have a good product too, because right. Because if I'm if I'm a deaf person, blind, and I don't know what OVO is, I'm just gonna buy the sneakers because they're hot. And it's not. I'm not associating myself because I might not like a Drake lyric, and I might be like, damn, I don't like this lyric that Drake said. But I like these sneaks, but they're OVO. I don't yeah. know. And that, that Al combined. hoodie is like two hundred dollars. No caps. <laughs> no yeah. And he got like thirteen year olds that was dying to buy that shit. Yeah, and them and them out. Jordan 13s or 12s, they're fucking like even more. Oh, and man. they're so you could do it, man. And there's a lot of places you can get shit made. You just got you got to put some money behind it, but it's really easy nowadays to even like not even create like you don't have to have the whole overload. You know, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to have the whole warehouse full of shit. You can make it on demand nowadays. So yeah, like the product. And there's a lot of sites to make on demand shit. Right, straight up. So, you know what I'm saying? Figure Branding. it out. Branding. Brand brand yourself, but brand something around yourself. So if you're so basically what I'm trying to say to close this point out, if you're a rapper, bam, I'm a rapper. My name's Check. But my brand is Checkmate TV. Boom. Right. You got Dr. Dre. What he what he got? Dre Beat, Beats. Beats headphones. But... Beats headphones. Not even Dre Beats anymore. It's right. Beats headphones. He sold that shit to Apple for a bag. Bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might know Dre. Dre. Like, for example, my little cousin is fucking eight years old. One of some Beats headphones. Had no idea who Dre was and could care less. Right. <laughs> Same thing with Duce. A lot of people don't even know Hove owned that shit. Right. That's the key. Yeah, you know I mean, That's but it's key. it's top shelf shit. Cost sixty a bottle. Sixty a bottle. We drank it like it was nothing. Right. In an hour. Right. We Straight about to drink up. this Ciroc in an you hour. See, you don't see Diddy name on this shit. All right, so I gotta tuck my shit. I know it's all the same, but was is this bigger than that Duce bottle? <laughs> I looked it up. It's all the same, right? Yeah. <laughs> what about this one? I, as I told him, let me get the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the fills in? The fills in. Oh my! It's about God. right because we at we at about an hour right now, and it's about the right time. Yeah, we, we haven't been shooting our shot. No, we've been shooting a shot, but let's shoot a shot right shoot here. Our, yo, shoot your shot, man. Get your shoot brands your shot, right. Shot, they can't get your brands right. Right. Shout out to Philly rappers. <laughs> Didn't go down right away. Yeah, because you're talking about everything is a fifth. <laughs> <laughs> that shit bigger than a fifth. Yo, it's not, man. I looked it up. <laughs> 47 milliliters. Whatever. <laughs> 750. Yeah, fuck something. all that. That shit look bigger than me. Yeah. But um, yeah, man. We on a shoot your shot podcast. What else you got for me? Anything? Um, I got a couple other questions in here. Man. All right, give me a couple other questions. If not, we're going to close it out. 
right. Well, look, man. First, first and foremost, I, we really appreciate all your guys' engagement. Too. Yo, I, yo, I literally can't thank y'all enough for the engagement. Um, you right. guys love what we're doing. Um, I wish like this this episode. I didn't really give y'all no deep dives on no intellectual shit. I would love to, and I got a lot of it in me. I just, I, I, it's just natural. I, I don't want to give it to you forced. I want to give it to you naturally. And if you're watching too, and you're low key watching, like you don't, um, you don't comment or whatever, or show love. Like, please, just do it, just yo. Just ask whatever yo, you want. not even, so don't even ask. Just, just say I fuck with y'all, like, right. real rap. Because that, that, to me, that keeps us going, like, you know right. what I'm saying? And, Absolutely. And, um, also, We're going to go regardless, but yeah, that shit keeps us oh, going. Oh, yeah, for sure. sure. We're not stopping no time soon with this shit. Absolutely. I, no. Honestly, I get excited to do this shit. I Absolutely. Like, real rap. And um, definitely subscribe, too, on YouTube. I, yo, that's another thing. Everybody that got this far... Please right, subscribe. and we do appreciate everybody that watched the whole thing because I know these are long, and I know that not everybody has time to watch. Yo, I've been over. running into some cats that been telling me, yo, With real rap. I, we appreciate they've been you watching the whole Straight thing. Up. Yo, we you really mean? appreciate. Shout out you. to my guys. I was just balling with y'all. Know who we was at Sandberg. Right. Y'all know who y'all yeah, know who y'all is. Yeah, I, be I forgot some- your name, but. Yeah, I be getting some people that be yeah, like, yeah, I watched yeah, all four, all three. I'm like, yo, thank you. Man, man. I might have been chumping up your man, but he said, yo, I'll fuck with your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now I ain't going to talk about that part, Yeah, though. but please, man, please just show the love, bro. Like, just a little comment. Boom, that means the world. Like, real rap. You know what I'm saying? Um, What you think about that question? I could elaborate on that. For sure. Sure. Oh. So, all, right, all right, so he said, um, producers and, oh, you want, you want, all right, all right. Yeah. he said producers um, and or slash engineers working with multiple artists at once, blending different sounds. Um, from, from my standpoint, because I do, I do that, that's all I do is work with different people every single day. And um, I don't know exactly what you mean about blending different sounds, but. Um, I definitely um, use some of the same things on a lot of people because that's my taste. You know what I'm saying? And um, as far as production goes and blend, I don't know if you mean like blend, like the same type beats or whatever, or, but um, usually all that depends on the producer and how they feel and like what they're, like it's their sound at the end of the day. You feel me? Absolutely. And, and, so, uh, look. I'm not a producer, but I'm going to give you my rapper perspective on it. So when I go into a fucking studio and I see fucking plaques from fucking Justin Bieber and fucking Turtleneck from fucking Australia and Biscuit Head from fucking 1984 and fucking Mariah Carey from fucking 92, yo, I'll be like, damn, R, I need my shit to be like that. <laughs> right, and, so that's, it don't and, matter. and that's broad as shit. No, but that's broad, but at the end of the day, like, I don't care what you're blending or what's going on. I just know you know what works. Or you can get me to somewhere and, that works. Yeah, and we got taste. Like, I'm an engineer and a producer. <laughs> but I, engineering is, is, like, really, like, my main focus right now. And I give you what I feel. You know what I'm saying? I also take your advice. If you want this, you want that, I'm going to make it happen. But Absolutely. I give you my taste at the end of the day. So and you hear records and they sound a certain way, usually that's that engineer's taste. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Unless unless, you know, the artist provided that. I don't even know, you know if they're thinking that deep. Right. I don't know either. I don't it's a very broad, broad question, but very broad question. So But yo, like for example, when the baby sounds the same way as the baby sounds on every track, that means he fucking is fucking with the same engineer and producers. Right. So yeah, you could hear it on, on and uh didn't um his Yo, producer. hold on. Oh, his, per prime example, his producer is Jetson, right? Yeah. Jetson just produced the uh who's the boy, the white boy, Jack. He got the number one song on Rap Caviar right now. It's called What's Poppin'. Jetson produced that. It's got the bop. It's got that bop shit. Same shit. But see, this whole thing right here. These engineers and producers get down to the fucking BPMs of the beat. Yeah. And y'all not even getting down to that. They might be, though. They might be. I mean, some some are. 
we, we can go back to this, right? Cosmic Kev, right? Right. He ain't playing nothing that ain't between 90 and 100. Did they know that? Did they? I don't know, but I I know that. <laughs> Thank you for giving them keys. So just know that 90 and 100 BPMs, that's your... He might even give you 155 nowadays. 155 he is might. what the softest Or 80s, is in the 80s. like 155, 79... If you know anything about music, but 155 is that future area. That's that trappish. Trap That's that S. future rowdy rich area. That's that shoot your shot. That's that shoot your shot area. Damn, we spilling this shit. We got, we got the shoot your shot. We kill Henny and all that, but then we got to a little <laughs> left for this. Clear is. The clear is different. The clear is right. <laughs> is that we coming? That's how I'm carrying. <laughs> Boy, it's clear. Well, Fuck with clear. <laughs> I, honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. Clear was my shit for a long time. You know I mean, getting a little on though. I can't even hold. Like you. I would be mixing vodka with everything when I was young. Like vodka and Sprite. If you know me, vanilla Stoli and Sprite was my whole wave for like fucking five years. You ain't fuck with the Stoli. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's it. Stoli's is good. Fuck the Stoli. Yo, vanilla I'm Stoli having... and Sprite. If you a Yo, young the, the, boy the, the, and, you, the, and you a mixer. The youngest I ever went was Three Olives and Sprite. Not the Stoli. Nah, Stoli better than Three Olives. I ain't never went to the th- I ain't never went to the Stoli. The, the, they got vanilla, though. I ain't never got to the Stoli. Stoli's top. It's, Stoli's Yo, like I, mid-top. Yo, top, funny though. story. Stoli's all right, though. 21st birthday of mine. I always drank three olives. Like, you know, I used to be in, like, I used to be like 18 going into fucking tipsies and all these bars that closed down probably by now and in the hood. And I always drink a little three olives. I thought I was lit. Go vodka and Sprite work. I mean, now I don't drink no no weird shit like that. I'm heavy beer. The vodka and Sprite will, they say vodka. Heavy on the weird shit. Never mind. (laughs) Anyway, listen. Listen, I used to drink that shit. But yo, my twenty first birthday, I got two bottles of fucking uh three olives. And I'll never forget that. I was shout out to my man Jack. Shout out to my man Taz too, because he was there too. In my twenty first birthday, I had three bo- uh two bottles of that shit. Three olives. And what flavor. Fu- I don't even remember. I think it was probably yo, cherry is fucking disgusting. No, 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 no. The crazy part is one was one flavor and one was another flavor. Cause I went back to get the second bottle. But <laughs> let's see, hear me out. My twenty first birthday i'm at this house party it's a party basically for me because it's my birthday and fucking i'm at this guy jack's house and fucking shout out to jack and the chamois and feral sales area anyway um we're chilling we're vibing i'm i drank the whole bottle bottle gone is probably like 10 30 it's like 10 30 the liquor store closes at like 11 and down there so we go back and get another bottle and we get like a bottle like some mango three olives or some weird ass shit by the time i get two shots of that shit in i'm hugging the toilet for the rest of the night two shots it it probably no hold on i drank the whole bottle of the first three olives i had okay 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 i i I drank the whole bottle of the first three you had one of these to the to the Dickion. To the Neckion. <laughs> call me Czechion. Yo, I had, to, I had one bottle of three olives well, that, to the Neckion. That's Neckion-on. why, because you were fucking wasted. To say the least. <laughs> <laughs> My 21st birthday, I'm fucking 32, 31. <laughs> Today, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Today? No, the 20th. So it was two days ago. But anyway. I know. Uh, I, know. I said happy birthday to you. My God. Yo. Happy birthday to Checkmate. Round it up for him. Oh, it's a shooting shot today. Shooting shot. Yeah. Shoot your shot. Woo! Here's a here's a here's a question. <clears throat> I want I want to know your opinion. But yeah, I threw up on that second bottle. Never drink three hours again. It's too, it, it's branded it's, in my system. It's there's like some syrup. I'm top shelf boy now. Some anyway, syrup in I got shit. a little bit of bread, so I'll never drink three hours. I'm a grown ass man. That bottle was like eight dollars. 
I'm getting us three hours next podcast. And I will be sober. <laughs> it's like, nah, we're not doing that. No, we'll never drink three hours <laughs> on this podcast. They won't even get a look. Honestly, from me. I drink Amsterdam for three hours on some. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so check this. Check this question out. Talk about how how artists should pay for beats, or shouldn't they? Me, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be you. honest with you. Artists shouldn't pay for beats until that shit pop. Yeah, that's how you feel? Yeah. That's cool. I think artists should work. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's just from the artist's perspective. That's cool. I mean, hey, listen, I'm a producer, but I already know that it's... Too many beats out there now. The, 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 the ocean is yeah, too deep. Yeah, the ocean's very deep. The producer grind is... uh. It's a, it's a no, ocean. No, if it pop, if we make money together, then absolutely yeah, I should pay. It's definitely an ocean. The producer. And once again, hold on. We talked about this on the last podcast. Yeah, you should sue me <laughs> for the money that I made. Wait, what the hoes say? Fuck you, sue me. Absolutely. Sit back and watch me do me. Nah, but if I'm a thorough dude, I'll give you the little fucking 10 grand. I'll well, that 30 and grand. And that's the show. thing. Like, the, the, problem, the problem with this is, is that everybody ain't thorough. That. Is a, is a thing, but the producers are the problem because the producers put their their beats on YouTube, and but that's cool though. That that absolutely, I, I don't have a problem with it. But I told produ- you that before. I'm not mad at that. Even but, if the, they- but, but the producers that are bitching about not getting paid for their beats, that's the problem. Is that they're on YouTube, and and my and my man can't come up here. And say, uh, hey, Jumbo, put on a uh, little baby type beat. Yeah, they uh, take your swerving. beat. Swerving. They take your beat. And then I'm fucking converting that, John. And you in the booth, you rapping to it. And then now you got to make it happen, right? So now artists got to gotta, gotta say to themselves, Jumbo, uh, can you take that tag out of my beat? <laughs> can you take that purchase your track today out of my beat? And I'll say... Nah, it's not possible. So now that artist has to to make a decision. You feel me? And you really could though. Sometimes I can. <laughs> Sometimes I can't. Sometimes that the producers already know what the vibe is, and they're gonna put it at a point where they did not have that another part of the beat. You know what I'm saying? Open. So shout out to the producers that do that. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> but 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 that's the a that's lot of it. producers don't get that deep. Some do though, and some, some already know. And some, and you know, oh, shout out to them producers that put the tag in their beat that say, "How come you ain't pay for this beat though? How come you ain't pay for this beat though?" <laughs> Yo, that's the funniest tag I ever heard in my life, bro. <laughs> they put that shit in the middle too. You know, you know, it's the biggest beat that had that the, the ten toes down challenge. That shit. I don't had- know what that challenge is. I do and a lot of you do too that shit said how come you ain't pay for this beat though <laughs> yeah and that, that producer shit probably got a thousand people to pay for that beat more than that he probably yo that joint was major bro that joint was major probably made a fucking 200 grand off that beat yo he definitely ate off that joint but um what was my point what was I talking about I don't know yet <laughs> Yo, fuck, <laughs> fuck out of here. But look, all right, so... Basically, the should, producers should, uh, should, should be getting bad money off their beats. And I well, agree, but all right, so should artists life. pay for their beats? But, like, yeah, they should pay for the beat. They're going to have to make a decision when it comes down to, you know, where they want to put that beat out. So if you, if you're an artist and you're just uh making, making songs for SoundCloud, then you don't have to pay. You know what I'm saying? But if you're an artist and you're making songs... <laughs> That's how it's coming. That's how we carry it, bro. <laughs> that was- Every episode, we Yo. drinking the whole fucking bottle. That joint was drastic. That joint was drastic. Shout out to Tell Star. Drastic. 
I don't know who Tell Them Star is. Oh, hey. what the last what the last straw? Hey, oh, yeah, shout out to Tell Them man. Star. Yeah, she ain't come through yet with the two hours, but... Yeah, I mean, shout out to Tell Them Star. Shout out to Tell Them Star. She won. She was... She probably gotta get a song together. Let her get a song together. I'm about to I'm about to produce her. She 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 tough, bro. Let her get a song together first. Drastic. Woo! Shoot your fucking Yo, shot. Shoot your fucking DK. shot. Yo, we out this John, bro. We out this John. Yo, shoot your we fucking good, shot. Good vibe. Yeah, man. That's the that's the whole Ciroc bottle. Yeah, That's man. That's the whole Ciroc bottle. Hold on. What you rate the Ciroc? The Ciroc? Depends. If we go to casino and I'm win, going, and- I'm going 7.3. Yeah. Damn, you about that. <laughs> 7.3. All right. So, deep dive real quick. This is the Jumbo Files. Check, check stepped out. Yeah, man. 7.3? Seven three. <laughs> I feel you though. It's definitely lower than uh, the Duce. Or the him. Yes, I'm gonna give it a uh, seven point six. You know I mean, I like vodka. Yeah, you know I mean, but but listen, check. Come here, come here, check. Come here, we gotta shoot. We gotta say, shoot your fucking shot. Yeah, you know I mean, yo, this episode four, shoot your fucking shot. We out. Appreciate y'all for checking in. Subscribe to all that. Do the challenge, all that. Shoot your shot. We gone.